Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last part, we continued on with Serena Beach, and in this part, we'll be finishing up Serena Beach. We still have the question mark, question mark, question mark shines to do, or number 9 and 10 if you're following along with the menu, which you, I guess you could be, although it's not fully finished yet, so I guess you couldn't really, well, you kind of could, never mind, I'm going to stop talking about that. We have to go into mission two first, and we have to go back to the hotel lobby secret. So inside the hotel lobby secret here, uh, I don't think the red button is gonna be coming along until we get up to that part. Yeah, you can get, you could have kind of saw it there. Uh, yeah, right there too. It's right up there. Yeah, you can see it. So it's it's a little bit of ways into the level. Which means that there's not going to be as much ground to cover for the red coin mission, which is good, because that means they're closer together. And actually, this red coin mission, I'm going to take a chance and say that it isn't that hard, because when I was practicing it, it wasn't that hard. Why did I say that? I don't know. Jeez, I'm already missing the first coin. Jeez. Uh, uh, three of them are on the sand blocks here. You want to try and grab them quickly because, as you know, the sand blocks disappear after you jump on them once. The next one is kind of hidden. You have to you sort of have to do like a jump off here, then then use flood to get down here. Yeah, this is kind of why you need flood. And I forgot to show this before, but these ice cube blocks you can melt with flood. But I, I'm not really going to be do doing it right now because I don't need to. And I probably should have gotten the one up here first because I know there's another one up here and you can't destroy watermelon blocks when you're not on top of them. Yeah, there's three types of blocks. Those ice ones you can uh, destroy with, with with water from flood. The watermelon ones you can only uh, you can only ground pound on. And these brick ones you can only jump or yeah, like jump into. So yeah. And also now that we have flood this uh, uh, gear thing, I don't really know what it's called. Wooden gear thing. It spins. It's not going to be as much trouble as it gave us before, even though it didn't give us much trouble before because because I got through it well. But it won't give you that much trouble if you had trouble with it before because, yeah, you have flood so you can navigate it easier. And there's our eighth red coin. Now, if I fall off getting over to there, which I wouldn't put it past myself, I'm going to be ashamed of myself. Please. We have, like, one hover jump to make. Okay, there we go. There's our shine. And the next shine we have to go into, we have to go back into Mission 4, because that's where the secret of Casino Delfino is, which means that I have to go through all of the slot machine stuff and again, but I'll just cut that out and get right to the secret so you guys don't have to bear that, bear with that, bear that again with me, bleh. And in the secret over here, now we have this red switch here that we can push. And collect the every coins before the timer runs out. There we go. Oh, and you don't want to get squished between those those blocks because yes, that is an instant death. Like most Mario games, if you get squished by stuff, it's death. <laughs> and also, you want to watch out for those. Although I think I probably well, I should have explained the mechanics of this level when you first went through it. I'm not really, I don't really remember if I did or not. I'm gonna die here and I nope. Okay, there we go. Saved myself. Uh, this one you can just jump to or not. Eh, can I get back? Okay, I wasn't. I, I didn't think I could actually make it to the block, so I wasn't gonna risk it. Hopefully, I can make it here. Yes, there we go. And then the rest. The well, there's three on here, and then the other one is gonna be on that spinny platform over there. So they just spread them out uh, quite a lot between the levels. I think you can you can just uh, do that, then hover to it. Or maybe you need to do a. Okay, no. I was gonna say maybe you need to do like a triple jump or a spin jump, but no, you can just uh, do a flip jump, then hover to it. And then our last obstacle, we just gotta ride this big block here. Hopefully, won't I won't fall. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it with the bad, with the bad slope detection in this game. Okay, there we go. There's our shine. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to do with 100 coins and blue coins, actually, just because we have some more time in the video. And I don't really feel like I need to make a separate video for it. This video probably hasn't even been that long so far. Uh, yeah, so for we're going to be doing the blue coins first. And I found that the most efficient way to do it 
It's going into mission eight first, and then uh, six, and then four, or five. Eight, six, then five. So that, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. You can get 23 blue coins in mission eight, uh, then you get four in six, and then you get three in five. So yeah, that adds up to 30. So let's start.
And there we go. That's the blue coins. Now, on to the 100 coins. And I recommend doing them in Mission 4. Just because if you happen to fail at getting 100 coins, which there are 100 coins besides the casino, but if you need to go to the, to, to the casino and use the slot machines, you have that option because, you know, you can get unlimited coins from that. But I'm pretty sure I can find 100 coins elsewhere without doing that, so let's start on it. And there we go, that's the 100 coins of Serena Beach. Now we have Serena Beach completely 100%ed. Awesome. So in the next part of Super Mario Sunshine, we'll be going to this area right here. Yes, there's actually something you can do with this area. I'll show you what it is in the next part. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.